cardio in my training as I usually would. Um, and then another thing that happened this week that I guess we can get into just yesterday yeah, actually for us yeah. females especially is earlier this month I um, I thought I had skipped my cycle whereas um, in the past few months it was consistent, it was regular which was a rarity for me being that it had been a long time like probably over a year and a half since it was and um, I got that back again yesterday. So it was like my body was trying to produce a cycle earlier um, last month in August or beginning of September, I think it was. And then I finally made it happen now. My body finally made some things work now. So it's good to know that my body's still internally working as it should. Um, and it makes me just kind of, it gives me a little bit of peace of mind that, you know, my, my body is still able to function and we're still able to push like we are and still able to hormonally be in the right spot. Um, now, as to why it was later than normal, I don't know, but I mean, I'm just glad it happens because typically for me in my case, I will lose it even in just the beginning stages of a contest prep. It's not something that sticks around for me. I have girlfriends who have it all the way up until their show, but that's never been me ever. So this is a first for me and I'm almost excited to see how long I can be consistent for. Um, and I can, like going into the show, how consistent it will be and how long up until that it will still be there. Um, and I can attribute its consistency, I think, just to regular supplementation and then consistency among my variables, making sure my blood work is in check. Um, I get my blood work done every few months or at least the foot end of a contest prep before I start contest prep just to make sure everything's in line. Um, and if there's anything there that is a red flag or needs to be adjusted, we typically get on that. And luckily, I have all the resources through Revive to help me do so, um, through Revive MD, through the supplements. Um, and then just staying on, on top of everything, making sure that um, if I feel like I'm extra run down, if I feel like I, if I feel like crap, I'm going to tell Matt, I'm going to make a note of that, I'm going to make sure I communicate that. and. Typically, if you feel crappy on the outside, um, for me at least, I know that something inside isn't working right 100% of the time. Like, I had a, a contest prep um, a while ago. It was for my second show. Um, dieting hard, training hard, doing a lot of cardio, nothing was happening. Um, and that was the start of my thyroid condition that I found out about. That was in 2018. So this thyroid um, prescription has been something I've been using since then. Um, and then the whole hormonal side of it, um, that was always always an issue for me. I have a long history with uh, hormone health, but I think it's especially important to not let that fall on the back burner and not just assume it's normal to lose your cycle as a female in contest prep because um, there are ways to stay healthy and just be consistent among it all. Yeah, so just from my perspective, um, I think for you girls, like, there's a, there's a struggle with your cycle because um, I think it's kind of known for a lot of you that it doesn't happen. Um, and then once it doesn't happen, it's almost like you don't want it to happen because it kind of messes up your linear progression during a contest prep. But from my perspective, from a coach's perspective, um, I like celebrate these victories and I try to, to encourage, you know, like even Nadia this morning, like the first thing I told her is like, I'm really happy that you, you got your cycle because to me, if we can be making fat loss happen um, and performance markers are still where they need to be while the female body is responding as it should, that's the environment that you want to be in for as long as you can possibly be in during a contest prep. Um, so that's why I think it's very important that you girls talk about this, that you're aware of it, um, and, and you want to have a cycle, okay? Like the goal is to not slam your body into the ground to not have a cycle. Um, if you can be having fat loss occur and still have a cycle present, that is the ideal environment because that's how your body was made, and ultimately that's, a, that's the environment that your body is going to continue to respond positively in. And, you know, I talked last week or maybe two weeks ago about how fragile girls are and, and the, the biggest issue that I see with females is not that they don't get into shape the first time, it's just that every time after that it's harder and harder for them and then that's why you see these girls like rise to the top of the sport and then fall off because their body is no longer responding the same way. But if you keep hormonal markers in place and if you keep hormonal biofeedback in place such as your cycle being consistent and present, 
your body's not going to have any reason to fight against you and, and no longer continue to respond. So for me, it's really, really important. And I would say, like, the biggest change for Nadia this prep is just keeping that overfeeding in while progress is happening. You know, if, if we weren't feeding her right now, I would say that she there's no way that she'd be having her cycle. Um, and I know that that's the biggest change from previous preps to now is the frequency, the amount of refeeds, um, you know, scheduled rest days, like all those types of things, because that's all very, very important. Also, rest is extremely important as a female. It's important for all physique competitors, but especially for you girls, again, when it goes to having your body be responsive long term. So, one, be aware of these things. Two, definitely don't be discouraged if you have them happen. You want them to happen. Um, and then three, just be open with whoever you're working with about it, you know, because if we don't know, um, then, you know, because, like, just, just going through my head this morning, I saw Nadia's update. The first thing I saw was her weight, and I was like, dang, you know, like, what's going on? Um, but then I saw that, and I'm like, okay, this is great. Now, theoretically, I would have probably refed her again today because of where her rate of loss was up to this point. But when I'm navigating a girl during a cycle, I try to keep the variables consistent so that way we're not getting a false influx of weight from cycle weight due to increasing food. So I just keep kept the food stable. We'll let her cycle clear, um, and then we'll refeed her. So that might be tomorrow based off of where she's at. It might be Saturday, Sunday. Um, I just want to, like, I think it's really important to not paint a cloudy picture during prep and to see what each individual variable is doing. So we'll let the cycle clear, let the water weight from the cycle clear, then we'll feed her up again, and then we'll have an exact response of what that food did versus putting it in a watery environment where water's present. Then you're adding carbohydrates on top of it to increase water and glycogen, and then you might not really know what's going on. So that's kind of my overall approach to um, how to handle girls during their cycle and also encourage you girls that you do want to have your cycle. You don't want to put your body so far into a deficit where it stops months out of a contest. Yeah, exactly. And then, um, like this week, I noticed the weight fluctuations were a little weird to me, like you saw in my weigh-in throughout the week, because um, I'll include my other morning weight to you in my updates. Um, they were not consistent very much. They were actually kind of going up, and I was like, okay, something's off here. Something is not normal. Um, what's going on? And for someone who doesn't necessarily expect their cycle to come on, it's hard to read. So um, right. having just solidified, just um, it, of course, made me discouraged at first. But now that I know why that is, I can just kind of relax and let it pass and um, let my body do its thing. Because like you said, it's something, it is something to celebrate that I can still be in this position and be hormonally healthy for the most part. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I was just, you just brought up another point and I just lost, completely lost my train of thought. Um, I was talking about my weight throughout the week. Oh, yeah, this is what I want to ask. So, 